Hello everyone. Now let us see the types of synthetic fertilizers. Basically it is nitrogenous fertilizers, phosphatic fertilizers, potash fertilizers and NPK or mixed fertilizers. So first of all we start with the nitrogenous fertilizers. Now in order to remove the deficiency of nitrogen, the commercial nitrogenous fertilizers like sodium nitrate, calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, ammonium sulfate, calcium cyanamide, ammonium nitrate and urea can be added. Generally, we add fertilizer to improve the fertility of the soil and hence improve the growth of the plants. Right. So amongst that, we say the synthetic fertilizers can be synthesized and used as per the requirement of the soil and the growth of the plant. The fertilizing value can be expressed as the availability of the quantity of the nitrogen in them. So we write as percentage N or if it is potash then percentage K or phosphorus we write phos uh, percentage P. All the nitrogenous fertilizers are generally soluble in water and hence they are well assimilated or well absorbed by the plants. And most of the nitrogenous fertilizers are synthetic products which are obtained by the neutralization of acids with alkali. So we can understand the raw materials required or the initial materials used are sulfuric acid, nitric acid, carbon dioxide, liquid or gaseous ammonia and calcium hydroxide. So reaction between the acid and bases and the neutralization process by the neutralization process gives the formation of most of the nitrogenous fertilizers. We start with the first synthetic nitrogenous fertilizer that is ammonium nitrate. Now ammonium nitrate contains about 33 percentage of nitrogen and ammonium nitrogen uh, nitrate plants are operated in conjugation with ammonia and nitric acid plant which are the raw materials for its manufacturing. There are three methods of production, crystallization, flaking and prilling method. But the most important method which is developed in the, which was developed in 1940 is the prilling method. So we will take the prilling method which consists of the uh, four steps. Neutralization, evaporation, prilling and drying and finishing. So uh, we will see this method in detail. But the major drawback of the ammonium nitrate is its explosive nature. We know that ammonium nitrate along with its fertilizing capacity, it is uh, uh, also used in the manufacturing of explosives. So it is highly explosive in nature. It is very sensitive to heat and shock. This risk may therefore be avoided by mixing chalk, that is calcium carbonate, obtained as a byproduct in manufacturing of the ammonium sulfate. So when we uh, do the manufacturing of ammonium sulfate, we get calcium carbonate as a byproduct, which we can use uh, for the preparation or uh, of the nitro choke mixture. Nitro choke mixture is actually the mixture of ammonium nitrate and calcium carbonate, which contains around 16 percentage of nitrogen and hence it does not explode. So we take the prilling method in which the first step is the neutralization process. For the neutralization process, we say we require a, an acid and a base. So first of all, we take the heated ammonia vapors, which can be obtained from the uh, Haber's process. Plus we add nitric acid to that, 60% of, of nitric acid prepared by the oxidation of ammonia. And we take this into a neutralizer neutralization tower where we uh, maintain the pressure as 3 to 5 atmospheric pressure. The reaction that occurs is an exothermic reaction. So the reaction as it is shown nitric acid on reaction with ammonia gives ammonium nitrate where the heat is liberated giving the formation of a liquid product ammonium nitrate. So on the in first step that is the neutralization process, 
gives the formation of liquid ammonium nitrate where the reaction is exothermic so heat is released and temperature is higher so we don't need to give the uh, temperature to this uh, reaction mixture or the neutralizer tower now the solution uh, which is obtained of ammonium uh, nitrate in the neutralizer that we get it contains around 83 percentage of ammonium nitrate so to increase the uh, percentage of the ammonium nitrate it is passed through a heater supplied with steam for the neutralizer neutralization and then after it is passed to a vacuum evaporator and hence the concentration is increased to around 95 percentage that is the evaporation process so uh, the moisture content or vapor remaining in the solvent along with the ammonium nitrate is evolved is removed evaporated so it is an evaporation process wherein at the end of this process we get the concentration of around 95 percentage of nitric acid ammonium nitrate so finally the concentrated solution that is 95 percentage concentrated solution of ammonium nitrate is passed then into a prilling tower prilling tower is around 185 feet in height having the spray nozzles through which the solution is sprayed so here based on the uh, falling solution it is in a liquid form and from the uh, lower end an ascending current of cool air is passed so as the liquid comes in the contact with the cool air it forms a liquid it forms a solid droplets from the top the prills uh, this is from the spray nozzles this liquid comes in the form of spray and from the bottom the cool air is passed so both these react and uh, the liquid breaks up into a small droplets of the uniform and adequate size prills these prills solidify sufficiently as they reach the bottom of the tower and after that it is taken for the drying process and finishing process so generally we say the prills which are obtained this solid are uh, to be dried but these are deliquescent in nature that is it, these are soluble in nature so it absorbs moisture easily so the drying temperature must be kept lower to avoid its melting various drying methods are used one of which is to cool the material below 90 degree fahrenheit and the remaining moisture is removed in the second layer after drying the coating is done so that the cracking cracking is uh, prevented and then after it is taken to the packaging plant for the packing of the material this is the diagram we can understand see the heated vapors of the ammonia and the 90 uh, 60 percentage of nitric acid is taken first into neutralizer tower after that we get the uh, concentrated solution of the ammonium nitrate it is to be taken into a heater provided with the steam coil and after that to increase the concentration of the ammonium nitrate it is passed through the vacuum evaporator so here we get around 95 percentage of the ammonium nitrate solution this is to be sprayed uh, through the nozzles of the prilling tower wherein the cool air is passed from the bottom and hence we get the uniform sized prills of ammonium nitrate these are uh, dried in a dryer coated and after that it is taken to a packaging unit for packing and then after it is stored so this is the first method for the preparation of ammonium nitrate prilling method thank you